it gets me into trouble in ways that I don't really think is my own fault. Like when I'm friend my friend's house playing FIFA, as you do, he went to the toilet, paused the game, so did what every guy does. Unpause it, get a couple of goals, because I'm about 15 mil <laughs> behind this point. But his little brother comes walking into the room, goes right up to the TV with his back to me. Now I can see he's got a t-shirt on, but nothing from the waist down. This worries me a little bit to begin with. He suddenly turns around because he's flicking his willy at me. Now I'm no expert, but I don't really know how to handle that situation. In hindsight, probably shouldn't have done what I did. I kicked him in the ribs. Now you're not really meant to kick kids, but you know, what other option did I have? And then before I knew it, I heard him running through to his mum in the kitchen, shouting about how I touched him. I had done nothing of the sort, I just gave him a wee kick in the ribs. Shite again, fair enough. <laughs> Which, I've only got one more story for you and then I'll leave you in peace. Get drinks, I swear the will be. Even though I don't drink much, I'm going to be down in it tonight. <laughs> My last story is, you all like laughing at other people's humiliation. This is probably the worst thing that's actually happened in my life. I had an argument with my ex-girlfriend, I can't remember what it was about, probably because she'd been in the bar school again. <laughs> and even though it was my own flat, I decided, well you can stay comfy, even though I pay the bills, the house, uh, the house will be ahead, the roof will be ahead. I'll start out into the town, and I'll go walk about to try and calm myself down. Now, I, I live in Aberdeen, so it was on Union Street, and you know the folk that are all handing out flyers to you. Well, it was one that was for strippers, so I thought, you know, fuck it. I'll get a ticket dance, I'll get something out of this. See, the guy said to me, ask for Yasmin. She gives you a special surprise when you get me. So I thought, well, it's a bit more bang for my buck. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> so I went in, I decided to find Yasmin, which I did. And we went through the back. She's bumping and grinding away on me. Which I'm liking, you know, that's why I went in there. And when she's right up in my face, she takes off the tires, just on either side, drops it, that's a special surprise. A nice cock and balls in the face. Yasmin is a transsexual. <laughs> that happened to me. But I'm 20 quid in at this point. I'm not going to just give up 20 quid. So I, I rode it out until the end. And this is where I learned something at uni. Studied law. Sailor Boots Act. So I'm thinking, surely these dudes are not fit for the purpose that I was wanting them to be. So, on raising that issue, I tried getting the money back, and long story short, I ended up getting eaten up by a shingle stripper. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all the stories. That was, thank you for listening to me.